Awaken Realms have announced their new games for the upcoming year through their AR Next 2024 presentation on the 27th of February. But with that, it's come with a bit of controversy from people online who have identified that Awaken Realms, of all companies, have been making use of AI art, just like other companies have already in the past and will do in the future. Hello, Board Game Shenanigans here. Right, so been a little while, uh, been a bit busy, haven't had access to making videos for a while, but now I'm back, I can talk about some recent things going on, and I'll just go through um, Waken Realms, you know, 10th anniversary, they've been making games you know, 10 years now, and look how far they've come, you know, they own GameFound, they've made all these amazing games, massive games that people are talking about, you know, people are still talking about Nemesis, and it's been going for years now, and you know, a third one, you know, look good, they're still making games that are high quality in terms of components and the gameplay, um, you know, Tainted Grail, the new stuff is coming around down the line uh, they've got awaken realms partnership with um rpg companies now they're making the tainted grail rpg um that's coming up now it's on the game file now live uh you know they've had a lot going on for themselves really and so they've announced new games and they did this last year they announced um you know nemesis and stalker and all these games you know, a year in advance, start of the year, they're doing these presentations, which are just like, um, similar to like a, a gaming, like a video game event, you know, like a, an E3, which, you know, doesn't exist anymore, but now everyone's gone to these like presentation type things, Nintendo Direct and um, Xbox Showcase and things like that, you know, they, they do these things in video games and Awaken Realms, they're very influenced by video games, as you can see with the, the games they make as well, they're very video game-esque in a way, you know, um, Dragon Eclipse, very Pokemon looking, um, and now they've gone with these new games, so first thing they did was, oh, they've got Castles of Burgundy reprint, so the same one they made a few years ago, coming back, very simple, very normal, then they've gone with Puerto Rico, special edition, 1897 version, so this is the one that's kicked up the most fuss of all of these things, and we'll go in that a bit later, but of course it's just a, an upgraded version of the new version of the game that just came out about a year ago, with minis really, that's what it's going to be. Then you've got this one, Grim Coven, which is very looking like Bloodborne and things like that, clearly what they're saying is like a Victorian type of game, um, you know, weapons and things that, you know, probably shouldn't be in that time period. Very looks like Bloodborne, you know, as soon as I saw it, yeah, it looks, looks like Bloodborne. Um, then they've got one, AR Vault. So they did one of these last year with dice. This one's just kind of minis for, like, um, RPGs. So, you know, I don't know if that's going to have a big market with it, of people backing this, but, uh, yeah. And they've got... The last one, which is I think, probably the big one of the year, Lands of Evershade, it's the new Tainted Grail, really, the new ISS Vanguard, the big, big story-driven one of all the, these games, really. So that's what they've announced, they've gone, that's all year, planned out, you know what the, what's coming, and you can, um, you know, pick them back which ones you want, and you follow them all on Game Found, as they tell, tell you to do. But the funny thing people noticed, if you go through their pictures here, especially some of them they're very oh that's ai art and yes it is um they've come out and you know kind of confirmed that by saying but kind of taking this stuff down this these pictures are like they're really only here now uh this one's been updated but this one was um it's, you know it's scrubbed from the internet besides this page really um you can't find it on the actual page anymore so they've kind of been, someone's like, ah, oh, that's AI art there. So you've got to stop right now or we're going to, we're going to threaten to not buy a game. Yay. Well, we'll see if that does any impact on this because I don't think it will, as we can see. I mean, 
First, we have the Lands of Evershade coming out end of the year. 16,000 people following. Well, not many people give a toss about the AI art, really, do they? You know, they're getting loads of follows from, you know, Awakened Realm fans who want to buy these games. People follow. AI Vault, or Vault, AI Vault. Yeah, like I said, not many. 5,000. That's because, you know, most people who are Awakened Realms fans are board gamers and probably some video gamers as well. Not really RPG players. Not as big. And same with the, the Dice one. You know, it didn't get that many people. Um, I got it for the... Um, you know, the dice that are linked to the board games. I didn't want the RPG dice. It was just, you know, generic dice. I don't really need them, you know. And then they got the Castles and Burgundy, you know. This one got 11,000, so it's just a reprint. Loads of people are interested in getting that because, you know, it's come to retail as well. I've seen it about, but, you know, that one got a lot more than the RPG one. Then you had the Grim Coven. And we've got 14,000, so getting to new game, this one's got more than the Burgundy, but not as much as the other one, which this one is a clearly a different type of game. It's like a boss battle game, so that one, you know, not as got as many people who'd be interested in the Awakened Realm space, because most of their games aren't boss battlers, they are, you know, story-driven games anyway, with a few bosses in there, here or there. That's generally, this one's fully boss battler game, and the thing is, you know, Dante's just been up this last week, so... A lot of people been looking at that. They want to get another boss battle right back to back. Probably not. Maybe this one. We'll see. How it, it probably will get more than Dante because it's Awakened Realms. But uh, yeah, I think maybe that's why this one a little bit under. It's different for Awakened Realms. And then Puerto Rico. He has 14,000 followers. And as you can see, they've changed the page from what it was in the other picture. Where now we've got... It's the the new box cover from the new version, the 1897 version, and they blurred it out and put a mini on it. So the AI art they used, there was a couple of people out there noticed it, complained about it, and you know email like Ravensburger about it to get them to take it down and change it. Really, that's what's going to happen here. So there's a bit of a a vocal minority of, of popped in. And trying to get them to change their page. Even though it's just a preview, you know. These are just previews, you know. Anything on these, nothing's set in stone here, you know. Everything's just, you know, preview images, really. There's not much on these pages, you know. You can't even load it up properly. Here we go, it's down here. You know, just a bit of background stuff. There's nothing major here on these, you know. We just go on all of them. They're all a bit like that, you know. A few minis, renders. A bit of text and a few art pieces. This is the only one that's a full game. So this one's got the full components showed off. Grim Coven again, you know, this this image was an AI art image and they just re-updated it with a bit of a uh, jiggery pokery of someone going over it and tidying it up. But it was a, you know, an AI image initially anyway and then they've edited it. So some of these are AI images, you know, they're probably all linked to AI in some way because it is a tool that, you know, artists have been using and there are people who are against it and people who are for it. And when it comes to Awaken Realms, they're definitely on the round for for it because they generally do that sort of thing. You know, you can see it in their other games, you know, the way their art looks, even like, you know, Nemesis and um, Dragon Eclipse, you know, they look so AI arty, you know. It, but they've edited it, you know, because it's just a tool they use, get some inspiration, and then copy paste some pieces from the art. That's generally how these AI things are going. So this one, you know, they took down the pictures, blurred it up, and then they've got bits of castles and burgundy on here. So there's nothing here anymore. There's no art here anymore. There used to be more pieces of art, but now they took it all down for this one. Um, yeah. So just have a look at the Grim Cove, and I've got. A, picture of the old one here this one is the actual one from before that was the um one that was there when i first saw it anyway we went live and they've you know there was like some smudges these like arrow things going down this bit here with the blade snapped off a bit you know it, they've they've touched it up because it was definitely got a bit looking a bit weird but the thing is it was just like a quick render you know what i mean it's like 
this is just a marketing Im image. The campaign's not live for a couple of months or so at least. So, you know, this is it. They're just thrown up together quickly. And then they've gone, people have noticed and they've gone, all right, we'll just change it a little bit, right? That's what they've kind of done. So when it comes to this stuff, it's like you have AI art and stuff, you have. Uh, but this is like Puerto Rico and, you know, the, the Gloomcoven, hardly many people have been talking about that. That's kind of been like off on the side. And I think the people talking about that is more like the, the, the gamers, you know, the hardcore audience of Waken Realms who buy all their big games and all that. They're the main people who've been who've having a conversation about that uh, really with um, the AR art stuff where they noticed it because that one's like a meatier game. Whereas Puerto Rico, you know, it's a tried and tested game of like two decades old and they had, a, you know, the new edition two years ago which is like a 20th anniversary edition. Now they've got the new one, which this one is just the last one that just came out, but with like minis. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's all they've kind of done to it. And, you know, you, there's a different like response to this really, because I've seen different people. And then the first, the top comment here on GameFound is, no interest in Woke1897, give us the original. So that's your top comment here on GameFound, just talking about this game. And, you know, comments, very small minority people comment on these things, um, especially at the start when it's a preview. Most people do the talking when it's a live campaign, but, you know, 200 comments, but, you know, 14,000 people have followed this page, but so a very small minority. And a lot of these comments are the same people saying the same thing. So, you know, a few, like a hundred people or so have been commenting on here. And then most people like myself just click follow and move on. You know, most people don't really have the conversation about this stuff. So that one was the original, that comment. And then there's people going through and arguing with him. So it's a big thread of people. Then you have, oh, the counter signal of, oh, the woke Megatron comes in response to Megatron and saying, I guess this isn't for you. Yeah, but these guys are all the minority. You know, 30 likes on a comment, on a 200 comments of 14,000 people. That's not really going to be signaling for who's going to back these games in the end, really, are they? Because these are just people commenting. Maybe not of these people are going to back. They're just commenting now for the outrage of it all, you know? Yeah, everyone's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, some were arguing with them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, please keep the original theme, not walk down. There's different type of people here, you know? I think there's a lot of people who are just like, yeah, just play the original. Because the new one... You know, it might is the woke version. That is the good a good description of what it is, because they pulled in people who were consulting on it, saying, "Ah, you can't say this, you can't say that, you can't use this in the game. We have to change the theme and change everything about it just to make it us happy with it." You know, this like niche audience of people who, uh, you know, like to whinge on the internet about things you know that's kind of what happened so they changed it and not only did they change it they actually like destroyed the game in the process so like the rule book was like completely unfinished when they released it so the game is as itself out of the box is like unplayable so you have to go online to figure out how to realize how to play this game so you know, they were so focused on making it a woke version that they uh, forgot to actually make the game good <laughs> so that was a ridiculous time and then you have to go and ask Ravensburger for like an updated rule book and stuff it's like nuts that how can you rush out a 20th anniversary copy of a game that's like highly acclaimed like Puerto Rico and then it's just like no 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 just um you know actually we'd, we we got rid of the the slaves so it's all right but actually no actually the game's not playable though so completely shot themselves in the foot so yeah, the, the people here are not interested. And then you go through all this and it keeps going. And then you have the next cop comment, which is about the AI art. So it's like people talking about this. Ah, why are they using it? It's being human, you know. People just like, you know, focus on AI art as well. It's like, why are they using it? It's like, of course they can. Why not? Everyone's using it at the moment. You know, even the people, a lot of people who say they don't use it, they, they use it. You know, I've seen people use AI all the time, like for different things. You know, either those chatbots, they've got those 
there's like bots out there, AI, uh, uh, fictional characters, and you try to talk to them. I've seen people do that. I've seen people, you know, make them talk to each other. I've seen people um, use AI for everything. It's, it's in everything these days. And I've, I've mentioned it all before in another video, but it's just like, it's kind of like, there's people here who are just complaining about it. Some of them aren't even artists, but they complain about it. And some people, they've been like told by someone this is bad, and now they have to repeat it. And that's kind of it. You want to, they want to be in the in club of people who don't like AI art, but most people don't really care because you know, I said fourteen thousand followers, you just kind of click follow, didn't do anything else, and then there's a few vocal minority here, you know, and even. People complaining about the game being woke. That is still a vocal minority. You know, 30 likes on that comment, 27 on this one. Yeah. Two minorities having a little um, whinge in the comments, really. But in general, it's not really doing much because, you know, the game still exists. And all they've kind of done is, is kind of put the finger on Awakened Realms and kind of tried to bully them to take it down, which they kind of did, and they went and contacted Ravensburger, like people who were like frustrated, they're like, I'm sending an angry email to, to Ravensburger, please, to make Awaken Realms stop what they're doing, and things like that, it's like, no, it's just weirdos, really, it's just like, people just focused on trying to um, discourage the use of AI art, but Awaken Realms, you know, they've already kind of used it, and they just kind of use it for marketing like this, and then they just kind of touch it up, like, you know, most people are using AI art, you know, you know, companies like Simon, you know, Simon are using AI art, right, obviously, <laughs> I've seen it, and even then, uh, things like with uh, Simon, have you seen some of their characters in, like, Zombicide, where it's just like, they take an actual picture of a real person, and then trace their face onto a uh, the character on the game it's like people talk about that no people kind of just brush that under the rug even though they use ai as well they use all that stuff because at the end of the day this is a board game and it's generally about the mechanics and the gameplay that matter more than anything else and then the coat of paint on top the art is what you're kind of doing at the end right you have to have a working game first before you decide to jazz it up and so ai is giving us that prototype stage of jazzing it up really quickly so instead of having a prototype with little blocks on a table and nothing else they've actually can print out some ai art to make it actually more appealing to the eye when they're testing it and then they put it on these camp page pages to try and sell you it and that's the use of it really it's like it's it's speeding the process of getting to the prototype stage over pulling it back and just waiting a bit like to, not showing the blocks on a table it's like well why do you want to buy that no one wants to buy just something they can make themselves they want it just something that's visually appealing so that's the bit the selling point is when the visual aspect comes in again you've got people oh, i'm very disappointed this guy said deal with it which you know he's right really isn't it is deal with it they use it you want to use their Awaken Realms, go for it. But also, do you want to use their platform? They own GameFound. So if you don't agree with them, get off the website too. But you still you are. People complain about it. It's like, it could be that, you know, they've got your three-minute board games here. We dealt with it, Beamerigs. And now the AI is being removed. 100% dealt to. So it's like, he's kind of like, kicking up a fuss with this guy saying oh he's saying deal with it but he's like yeah we are dealing with it because we're kicking them all out of the industry they're not allowed to use AR yeah because we say so because he's strong arm in Awaken Realms and Ravensburger and any other company like Stronghold Games as well he was doing the same thing then it's like there's people in board gaming who are trying to strong arm other people into doing what they want rather than having people make the freedom to make their own games the way they want to and it doesn't matter about the size of the company these things because i've seen them go after you know they're going after awaken realms they've gone after stronghold but they've also gone after like just tiny companies who are just make, made up like one guy who just uses ai art because you know he's one guy making a board game on kickstarter and he just needs a you know a bit of pick me up to get the ai on there so it's quicker so he doesn't have to you know, he's a guy who can't afford to go and pay for an artist and all this stuff. So he makes a game on his own, off his own back. 
but they still want to get rid of those guys too. It doesn't matter what the company's size for these things. It's just a complete um, utter you know, rejection of AI in general when it comes to art, but no other form of AI they, they really care about. They, they just kind of accept all the rest of AI and society, but just on art, then that's a bad thing. Even though modern art is terrible in general, they're made by human beings, you know, we're not as good as it was in da Vinci's era, was it? It's terrible these days, my art. There's like, we're not progressing in humanity with art. We kind of peaked and now we've just been on a downward spiral for the last century. That's kind of how art's been going. So with AI coming in, now people are like, ah, you can't use AI anymore. It's like, AI's just taking from what humans have already created and making something new from it. And, you know, they think, yeah, the issue with that, but, you know, I've already covered that before, but, yeah, there's a lot of comments going on, a lot about the AI, but they're probably the same people liking all the comments, you know, do, 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 do. it's like 30 people going around saying, you know, no, I are, do all that. That's the, the, the gist of the comments, but the top comment is still this one, which is funny because it's like, you know, they're like, the same people who hate AR, they are woke people in general. So they, they don't like this statement. They want this statement censored and removed. But when it comes to their statement saying AR, they don't want them deleted because, you know, they want their cause to be uh, supported. Just a little bit on the board game wire pages, some of the art that was there before it got taken out. You can see like this wheel, it's not fully rendered in. This guy's hand is a bit dodgy. Same with this guy's hand here and this one. A bit extra fingers on that one, I think. But, you know, hard to squint and see. It's not obvious. But um, it, if you zoom in, you can see that's generally how these ones go. But they could be touched up more, you know. Like, But the thing is, this is just, you know, prototype stuff thrown into a quick page for the announcement. You know, probably the people who threw the page together are completely different to the people who made the images and they just kind of pull them off somewhere, copy paste, paste them in just to get the announcement ready. But uh, this kind of goes, you know, they took it down. Ravensburg kind of went to them after. So someone complained to Ravensburg and then Ravensburg had got to Aiken Realms and said, you know, just take those pictures off. That's kind of what's happened. And then uh, I think there's a quote from Marcin somewhere. Um... Yeah, they, they, Ravensburger reached out, removed the temporary images. Yeah, there's temporary images, exactly. So there weren't even anything special. And then, yeah, Marcin of Awakened Realm said, there'll be no AI art in the final edition of the game. Which is kind of true, because even if they edit it, it's not AI art anymore, because um, they've um, changed the art. If they modify it, it's no longer AI art. But, you know, things happen. And then, like I said, the focus from that this article has generally come about on the Puerto Rico version of it. But as we already saw, Grim Coven already had AR as well. But that one, no one really said anything. And I think this, the reason why is because not only is Puerto Rico an already existing game, they also got the remake, which is the, you know, the quote unquote woke version. And when that's come out, now there's the people who are the woke people who like to go on Twitter and the internet and cancel board game companies for using AI art. Those same people who support the new version of Puerto Rico put an eye on this one because they're like, oh, this is our new game, our new woke game. So they supported it and now they're like, oh, we got to uh, make a point about how this has got AR out now, so they like they've ta we've tarnished their baby by putting AR in it. That's what Awaken Realms have done, <laughs> which is that's kind of another way I've kind of been seeing it because it's like with the Grim Coven one, which is like you know your hardcore audience, blah blah Awaken Realms type of game. That's this one got an AR clearly, but this one bit on the off to the side because no one's been talking about it. They only been talking about this one, and even then, you could probably like I said, you can make the argument that this stuff is too on the um lands of evershade as well but you know the focus is when where it's more obvious and also who's doing the talking and who's doing the talking this one it's the same people the same people who go around every time they see about ai art they go around trying to shut anyone else down who's trying to be the opposite opinion and saying ai art is okay to use 
that's generally what's happening here. And just to go a little bit further with that, um, you know, they can be covering this article as well. Like, you know, ooh, this is what they were using it in, t in terraforming Mars. So it's the same, you know, the, the people who write this article are the same people. They're the same people who are like so focused on this AI art stuff that they have to bring it up every point possible. And um, these some screenshots of people talking. They shot some from the uh, campaign page here. And then that's about it talk to twitter you know of course because that's where they go and congregate and all these people but not just anymore though because um it's been a bit quiet on the um twitter x space and that's because of most people have been like jumping ship so there was all these different accounts these websites have been popping up here or there and one that's kind of stuck around a lot longer than the others is called blue sky and i don't know if any of you listening are aware of it but it's kind of just a twitter clone um and there's other ones that were around but everyone kind of went in for them for five minutes realized they weren't very good and left but i went on to blue sky because now it's like a public website so it used to be like invitation only so it was like a private echo chamber toxic culture now it's a public echo chamber toxic culture and i say that from what i've been finding on there i just thought throw a few things here or there but three minute board games kind of just moved over 100 percent to this new site and now he doesn't use twitter anymore but as you can see it looks identical to twitter doesn't it i mean the same bar on the left same way to write a post same reply system same likes same retweets it's just an absolute copy paste you know you could say it's stealing from twitter Hmm, like maybe how AI art is stealing from other artists. Hmm, hmm, suspicious. Anyway, but anyway, moving on, he made this post, and this is a, a comment left on the Puerto Rico campaign, which it's been deleted at this point. It's no longer there, been moderated out. But it was posted like right before the weekend, and then it's come back today, and someone deleted it. That's kind of what's going on here. And a few things he's been saying about it. One is like, oh, he's complaining about not anonymity when, you know, his kind of account is anonymous until you look, dig into who he actually is, really, isn't it? I mean, Three Minute Ball Games isn't his name. So, you know, he's complaining about this guy being anonymous, which is not a problem anyway. And some people do use their real names on here because it's what they're backing with, you know. But... Lack of moderation is a shit heap of a place growing the most toxic community one could hope for. No, I think that's Blue Sky, not actually um, GameFound comments. They're quite tame. And this is the worst one he could find, really. And the worst one ever, but I've probably seen, to be honest. It's not even, you know, not be really much on there, to be honest. I've never seen that much bad on GameFound. It's been quite tame, quite quiet, because not many people comment, you know. The time he did it, 141 comments. We've got 200 now. So what, like, one comment out of a few hundred comments? That's tame. That's nothing. It's not very that bad. So this guy, Dogs Man, he makes this, like, uh, I guess I can add a little story about why they should make the game back like it used to be in 2002 when it came out. And it kind of builds up. I won't read it out, but it goes out in the last bit. It's he's kind of a punchline, really. That's a bit. It's a joke. It's a troll post. And he's took the bait. <laughs> That's kind of how I can see with it. So this guy's made a joke he post. And he's got so triggered by it. He, this guy, Dogs Man, he's got the reaction he wanted. Because he just wanted to troll with this comment. And someone complained about what he said. So I think Dogs Man is laughing his way to the bank, really. Because he just made this as a joke. And then it's been picked up by social media by the people who want to cancel dogs man now everyone hates dogs man whoever dogs man is they hate him they want him banned off the platform for a racist joke which you know it's a joke still is it um a good joke no it's a bit 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 mild to be honest nothing that funny but could have been better but uh He's just having a laugh. He's trolling the people in this comment section because that's what people do, don't they? It's like, 
you're on the internet, people troll. That's that's kind of how things go. Then he goes and complains about the second comment, the most popular comment on the campaign, is also advocating a rollback to the slavery version of the game, Classy. So that's the Megatron comment, which we just saw. He's complaining about that. And that's, you know, that's not in actually saying much more than I want the original game. When the original game is still objectively better, because it's not a broken game. And even then, they change things. So it is woke because you wouldn't change it if it if it was fine you know if it wasn't a political correctness um mentality to change it to the new version then they wouldn't have changed it they would have kept it the same so they're saying oh because it's got slavery in the game which is very vague it's on the nose really it's not like you're actually picking out slaves you know you're just sending workers who are like little tokens little wooden tokens doot, 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 done that's it not really like the slaves, you know, not like say you're going to get capture 50 slaves and then you're going to have these slaves. It doesn't really say it like that in the game. It's kind of just just a mechanism, really. And even then, that's not a problem either. Well, either way, you know, you can put slavery in a game. Why not? There's games about slavery. <laughs> There's loads of games. And you think that in real life, we're going to have to be a bit you know, offended and say, ah, because slavery is a thing, we're not allowed to talk about it, it's the, it's the Pandora's box, we're not allowed to talk about slavery anymore. It, it was a real thing, we need to talk about it, right? <laughs> we should be talking about it, we shouldn't be like, ah, that means we can never have a mechanism about slavery or anything that might offend. And even then, you know, some of these countries now in modern day, they still have slaves picking like coca beans and things like that. This stuff's still real. It's still happening. So we've got to be like, just ignore it exists instead of just like talking about it and even using it in a game, you know. I, I talked about another video. There was a guy who made a game and he was like a criminal and he went to prison and then he made a, a, a game about like how you shouldn't do drugs and stuff. Is that too bad as well? Like, because he's like talking about how the pipeline to becoming a criminal and he made a board game about it, you know, that sort of thing happens. People can make a game about whatever they want, whatever topic. And it's, you know, it's there's a different audience for it. You know, there's so many different war games out there where we're talking about actual wars that have actually happened. You know, millions of people die in these wars. But we can make a game about them and just it's going to be you moving a guy into the map, roll the dice and kill people, can't you? So you can take things any way you want. But for this particular game, it had a lot of people, vocal minority about it, trying to change it, and then they ruined it and made a worse game out of it. That's kind of what happened. More people go around. Uh, and again, like I said, it's like an echo chamber of all these people agreeing with each other on this platform. And then there was like one more post. And this is where I'm like, He's getting a bit, you know, over the top with what he was saying. So that this post is still up on GameFound. Not anymore. But this is this is yesterday for me. It says two days, but oh, he posted after midnight. So that's why it says two days. So maybe that's his time zone because he's in New Zealand. But it's not up anymore because it's not there. But um, not moderating anything at all. But again, it's like, it's the weekend. I think the only guy who does moderation for Awaken Realms on these, like, campaign pages is, like, Jordan, if you've seen him. AR Jordan. He he does all, like, the moderation, really. He does all the, the marketing and social media posts. So let him have a weekend off. It's one comment. It didn't say anything. He didn't post anyone's address. He didn't say anything like doxing or threatening. He made a joke. One joke, and it can be censored in the morning of the next work day it's nothing like they can't wait it's not gonna change the world if this comment stayed up any longer you know i said i suspect if you said awaken around empowers racists that might get you modded so he's saying you know if you a bit like him making a, a statement like this they're gonna ban you well, I was like no they haven't banned him he's his comments are still there aren't they Gee, I wonder which above board member of the board game content creation community it is that places marketing manager. So poorly written there, that sentence, but he's on about Alex Board Game Co. Alex Radcliffe. So now he's putting the blame on Alex for this comment because it's still up after a couple of days. 
What? <laughs> Ridiculous. Alex, you know, Alex is an Orthodox Jew. He doesn't even go on the internet on the Sabbath. So he wouldn't even go on and see this. So <laughs> why on earth would he, like, start putting the blame? Can anyone confirm that Alex Radcliffe of Board Game Co. is still marketing manager for GameFound? I look in it, but I blocked him and his old mate Quackalove on every single platform I could think of. So this guy's gone around blocking them all. Blocking Alex and Quackalope. And he didn't block them because of, um, like, Quackalope's um, Aeon's Trespass incident. It was before that, he, he says, down here. So he's putting the blame on Alex because there's a one nasty comment that's a joke, a troll, jokey comment. That's it. It's like, it's not Alex's um, jurisdiction. All he talks about is marketing. All he talks about is like campaign pages. That's what Alex does. Alex gets sent to game found page and probably has a look and goes, yeah, that looks good. Maybe you should add this quote in there. Maybe you should do this. That's about it. I don't think he does much. Alex is like, he's there just to make some videos. He's there to consult, really. And he's been put onto the team. He doesn't, you know, do as much as you think. He doesn't manage the comment sections. That's not his job. He's like top, top, top person in the com company, really, isn't he? He's like top up there. He's not managing the moderation of comments, so he's not to blame. And he goes, he's less to the CMO, says he's he's talking to his own wife. Why don't you just talk to her in real life? Why are you talking on social media? Nuts. Chill, cheers, lovers, for all the ones who've clearly never been really racist comments if someone is most comfortable with. And that is completely wrong. I can say objectively that's wrong because Alex has stated in several times in a video that when he started like streaming and stuff on YouTube, he had to get Roy uh, from the Dice Tower, Roy Canada, to be a moderator so he could delete the comments who were, you know, saying stuff about him being Jewish and stuff. That's what Roy's bit Roy was doing on the moderation of the comments. So to say that Alex doesn't have that policy is completely wrong. Alex does have a policy to remove things that are um, make him uncomfortable and make other people uncomfortable. He would do it. He will moderate the comments. Maybe he's a bit more respectful than you, and he can be a bit more, bit more of a leeway to have a chat about it. But he would definitely take things off. So you're saying he wouldn't do this. No, no, he would. He would do it. And whether you think that's right or wrong, moderating comments, deleting things, that's up to people to decide, not you to go and say he's fine with this because he hasn't seen a comment on a thread about Puerto Rico. No, he does do things on his own channel and I don't think he's responsible for managing a comment section of a board game that he's not even working on. You know what I mean? It's like completely jumping the shark here he's incompetent and it's happening without his knowledge it's like no it's not incompetent it's probably not even his job it like why would a cmo be responsible to go through comment sections of every kickstarter and well crowdfunding on game fountain and say delete 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 no 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 he doesn't even do work for Awaken Realms. He works for GameFound. So Awaken Realms would be the ones to monitor those. And they are, well, they are the same company, sister companies in this, in a way. They are not both responsible for each other. You know, GameFound is just the site. Awaken Realms makes the games. And I'm sure the game creator has a way to manage their own comments on their own pages, not GameFound in general. So again, he's culpable for this shit. No, he's not. So he's like making stuff up, just trying like stir up shit in here, in his little echo chamber on Blue Sky. That's what they're doing now. This is where they go. They go here to try and make issues fair. He probably dissed himself from Quackle Up a while back, this guy said. They haven't collaborated. Uh, some of the, to be fair, no post starting with those words is ever useful. I blocked him and his old mate Quackalo back when they were still an item for very valid reasons and I don't keep close tabs on them. It's deeply fucking weird that you felt the need to point of order me on this triviality. So he's like, this guy's just saying, you know, hey, 
he, he wasn't associated with Quackle. And he's like, no, 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 I blocked him before that. So he's like, what are you blocking for? Why don't you just go out and say it? Say he tried coercing me for a review copy or something. Or he um, he was going to do a collaboration with me and then he told me to fuck off. You know, tell me, tell us the truth. Give us the, give us the beans. Don't be like, ah, oh, I'm not going to say. I'm just going to say that uh, I blocked them because reasons. It's like, if you have a reason, say it. And then... You go through a bit further, and no one included pipes in, you know, echo chamber talking to each other, that's what happens. I first discovered Alex through some video he made where he just listed a bunch of different board game reviewers. In the comments, someone said something, I can't believe you put though in those horrible woke, no pun included. And his response was, I can see both sides. So what he's done is, what I remember his audience has left a comment saying, can't we put these idiots in here? And Boyan Co is like, nah, nah, it's all right, there can be a... I can see what you mean, but uh, I'm enjoying them. That's kind of what he said. That's his, he's, he's, you know, he's paraphrased this comment, hasn't he? So what he said is he saw in a comment where he's like, I don't rule out what he's saying. You know, they, he doesn't deny that they're woke. That's what Board Game Co. did. When these guys are woke, what are you talking about? He's like denying he's woke now? No, of course he is. Because of what they say on the internet, on a daily. Of course they are. So with all game go because he didn't say, "Oh, get lost, you idiot!" Because I love woke people, like no pun included. They uh, <laughs> they cook a fuss over them and block them, and as well probably. And then board game, board games come in with my experience was something similar, but it was definitely about the time I was getting sauce on Quackalope too. Now they moderate a damn thing, and their fandoms love to brigade people. So that's his that's his issue. His issue is the they don't do as much online as he does they don't they're not terminally online like three minute board games they just you know they turn off the computer and go play board games maybe these are guys are fake board gamers maybe that's it maybe that board game co and quackalope actually play board games and then these guys just come online all the time and then they just say they play board games and they live on the internet so they, they have all this time to manage manage all their comment sections Whereas Board Game Co. and Quackalope, you know, they have channels very similar size to these guys. They don't do it as much because, you know, Board Game Co. For sp definitely because he turns off his computer for a day, for 24 hours a week, which is healthy. It's not on, not healthy to be on here all the time complaining. And then also someone sent me a screenshot recently where Quacks refers to Ben Shapiro as an important thinker. And I saw that video, actually. He did say that. Because um, of the recent uh, business in Israel and Palestine. Because everyone and his dog had to make a point about that. And especially um, people who are Jewish and Muslim. And Quackalope and Boy and Co are both Jewish. Maybe Three of Board Games is anti-Semitic. Oh, maybe. That's why he blocked them both. Hmm. Well, yeah, well, I can say that because he just calls people racist. So, you know, I can call him anti-Semitic. That's, that's how it goes, isn't it? You know, you just throw a buzzword at each other and whoever shouts louder is the winner. And I can shout a lot louder than I am now because I'm just talking and I'm already calling you an anti-Semite. Ooh. Anyway, jokes aside, because I'm joking, he's getting caught in issue because he talked about Ben Shapiro well. Yeah, Ben Shapiro, you know, he's, he is an important thinker to Jewish people, isn't he? Because, you know, he has his own opinions and why wouldn't he? You know, what he defends, you know, Israel and things like that. And they defend Israel, which they have their right to as freedom of speech. And they posted videos about it on their channel, which they're welcome to. Does it mean I agree with them? No, you don't have to agree with them about what they say. But they're well, welcome to say it and welcome to have a discussion about it. That's how it goes, isn't it? That's how freedom of speech goes. But not with the AI, anti-AI woke cult. No, they want to ban AI. And as he said in his previous comment over here. What was it? Let's end on this. Let's find it again. Is here somewhere in a response. Oh, I'm not going to find it now, am I? I'm 
leaving it in. I'm leaving it in. Let's go. Three minute board games. There we go. We dealt with it, VM rigs. Now the AR is being removed. Who is that dealt to? So, you know, that's what he's about. Taking things down. Doesn't want it existing because he doesn't like it. Well, move back on the positive note. Out of the games, I'll probably say, don't care about this one. Don't care about this one. If I'm going to get them, I might just get the uh, from retail or get the original. That's not woke. Yes. Grim Coven looks pretty cool from the theme. Um, it's boss battler. Might be good. Don't really care about this one because it's just minis. And I do care about this one. It looks cool. So, uh, the positive notes. We get in some games coming. And two of them look good. There you go. And we'll see them later in the year. So, uh, if you sat through this one, thanks uh, very much for watching. Uh, might have gone on a bit long, but I um, thought it was an interesting topic to talk about. An AI, or, you know, it's going to rear its head from time to time. You know, soon will be the uh, CMON event, I assume, uh, where someone will notice that they use it when we already know they do <laughs> so it's just for the the people who want to cancel it notice and pick up on it that's when you that's when it figures out and as we know simon have just partnered with awaken realms to uh exclusively launch campaigns on GameFound. so i'm sure they don't have an issue <laughs> because kickstarter do have an issue and make you forced to declare it but awaken realms do not have that clause in their website so Possibly, Simon have moved because they don't want to declare it because they don't want the the hassle of people telling them it's a, the wrong, you know, and complaining on Blue Sky where no one listens to them but their own echo chamber. Maybe that's not what Simon doesn't want. So, thank you very much for listening. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.